Good morning. This is Mom H with Honey Hollow Homestead. I'll tell you. I think it's about 7.30 in the morning. I've got my neighbor supposed to be bringing me a, a round bale this morning. Things have been so dry. There's like hardly anything in the way of grass um, for Honey to eat. I've even let her out of the pasture. And there really isn't much there. Um, she wants some, but there's not much. So finally, after last night when we were supposed to get this severe thunderstorm, well, we had lots of thunder. I don't even think we got enough rain to poke it out the ground. So I figured I gotta get honey some hay. And hopefully, you know, for Chucky too. Now Chucky, he free ranges with the goats. Uh, and they went up towards the pond where it's probably a little greener there. For whatever reason, Honey doesn't, when I let her out, she doesn't go up that far. She doesn't go past the, uh, the entrance to the pathway heading to the, to the pond. So I don't know what the deal is. The goats and Chucky will go up there, but Honey won't for some odd reason. So, um... She just kind of stays around the cabin in the barn area. So she needs hay. Well, one of the things that I've had nagging at me for a while is this T post. It got bent by accident. Um, I think my neighbor dropped a round bale on it or something and it bent it. I have not been able to get it out, have not been able to. So I finally broke down and bought myself a T-post puller. Guess what? With as dry as the ground is, there ain't no way I can get this up. I have tried and I just don't have the strength. Part of it could be I woke up in the middle of the night with severe pain in my left hip. I think I just, you know, was laying on it wrong or something. It's, it seems muscular. Um, so I'm w gradually walking it out. But I'm just, I'm wore out. I'm tired. I just don't have the strength. And with the, um, with as dry as the ground is, there ain't no way I'm going to get this out. Now, if he's, if he's got the, uh, if he drops the ground bell over, in this area, which I'm hoping that he does. Maybe he can get out with his tractor. I don't know. It all depends on what he's got with the tractor. Um, if he can, he can't. Um, I'll get it when, if it ever rains. Oh, it'll rain. It's just a matter of when. So, anyway. So that's what I'm dealing with this morning. i got to get these T-posts out. I've got, like, five T-posts over here around this old shelter I want to get out. Plus, i got some over... Um, that way, let me see here. Uh, I don't know if you can see. Uh, anyway, there's a couple over that way that I need to get out. And there's a couple up towards the, um, in the direction of the pond I want to get out. So I can get this uh, one pasture area fenced in. I mean, I've got the T-posts that are in bad locations for, for fencing. I mean, I thought it was a good location at the time but it's not so and then I got to figure out what to do with this old shelter you know one thing at a time you know I got to clean up around it the goats ha still hang out on it but maybe they'll hang out more in the run in once I got that finished but anyway I am waiting on him to show up with a round bale I might let honey out for a little bit so, she heard her name. She's been calling at me all morning. She said, Mom, you forgot something. You forgot to let me out. I think I need a trim. This is what happens when you go to bed with wet hair. You know, it's just like all over the place. Anyway. All right. So, that's about all that's going on right now. Um, tune in tomorrow. If I can do the live stream like I want to. Um, oh, Billy's butting his head again. 
um, then I'll share some good news with you. So, but anyway, I'll talk to you later. It's Mom H with Honey Hollow Homestead. Have a good one, people.